time, it's here, beta 2 is released, and to upgrade, it's extremely simple. We're just going to connect the USB cable to the computer. We're gonna go to the USB notification here, transmit files. Now the phone comes up, and we're just gonna take the stock China 2.46, and we're just gonna drag that over to the root directory of the phone here. Now that's copying over. Okay, so now before we get further into this, I just wanna mention that if you did not go to beta one, you have to do go do that first so that way your phone can already be set up on china firmware so that way you can continue from where i am here so now we're going to go down to system update and you can see that we are already on china 2.46 but what we want to do is we want to remove root and everything we want to go right back to factory so we're going to go and install this update package right here that's going to reboot into the recovery which for this is still twrp and it'll still install the uh, the factory image fine but essentially what we're doing is we're going to 2.46 official so that way we can do the over-the-air update to the newer version now this step can be fixed if i can end up locating the 2.52 firmware file then you can just flash 2.52 firmware so now you can see it's flashing so we're just going to give it a minute okay so we are back in so we're still technically on blackmagic 5g beta 1 however if we go and check we should not yeah device is not rooted so we don't have root access so we're back on the factory version so now system update you can see 2.46 and it's going to search for an update and you can see that it did find an update version 2.52 which is the one that we want so this is fine so we're going to download this and then we're just going to let that download install and we're going to be on official 2.52 okay so the download's finished so now we can just install this update install now and it's going to reboot to the factory recovery and and it's gonna flash the official firmware now. There we go, now we just sit back and wait. Okay, so now it's just finishing up the install and then we're gonna get brought back to the home screen and then from there we have to do another factory reset. So we are back in and now, uh, just to show again, so we're gonna go here, go down, and under uh, root access, we're not rooted. About phone, we're now on 2.52. So from this point here, we want to connect to the computer so we're going to transmit files, so now we're back at the computer here. And we can do ABD devices, make sure that comes up. So we have ADB, uh, reboot, bootloader. And now we need to do the unlock bypass, install TWRP, and get everything working from there again. So now we are in the bootloader. So we want to do fast boot devices, make sure everything's good. It is fast boot uh, OEM nubia underscore unlock caps nubia underscore nx 659j so now you can see it is unlocked now we want to go and type in fastboot flash recovery and we want to flash twrp so this is the same steps as it was the first time from the first video uh, flash vb meta so we're gonna do that again and then fast boot flash modem. And finally, we're gonna do the parameters. There we go. So now that all of that's done, again, just for proof sake here, so we have the device unlocked and these flags are tripped, so we're gonna hold power and volume down until the phone vibrates, then we're going to release power and continue holding volume down to get back into the bootloader. Okay, so we're back and you can see it's locked and everything is reset back to normal. So now we want to boot into the recovery mode. Now from here, we can unplug and you're going to plug the USB stick into the computer and you're going to copy over Blackmagic 5G Beta 2 the same way we did in the first video. So now that we're in, all we have to do is just restore, select storage, USB on the go, select this backup, make sure all three are good, and just swipe to restore. That's it. Now we wait and once this is done, we're going to reboot and we'll be in Blackmagic Beta 2. Now that it's done, all we have to do is just reboot the system. Unplug that, we're done with that now. There we go, this is Blackmagic 5G Beta 2. Okay, so anyway, there you go, uh, this is Blackmagic 5G Beta 2. And now, with this one, 
Calls do work. Video does work. Unfortunately, NFC still doesn't work, but the developer is working on this right now with a few other people, and hopefully that gets sorted out soon. But right now, I am without a doubt content with this. This fixed every single issue that I had with the phone. The phone actually works. The camera, it works. Face unlock for you. So now you can use face unlock, so you have more options. The fingerprint reader remains working. The phone is unbelievably fast, extremely snappy. I haven't had a single thing crash using this for the last, I don't know, I wanna say about a week, two weeks now, and it's been, without a doubt, completely stable. This is, hands down, the ROM to go to. It improves everything over the stock phone. So if you have one of these phones, install this like this isn't this isn't a suggestion it's going to improve the phone if you install this now the only thing that currently doesn't work on this is nfc for google pay however google pay doesn't even work on the north american version it always says that you're displaying two cards even if you only have one so that's a raw issue with the stock firmware itself so in this version it still persists however the developer with some others is also working on a fix for this but one of the things that I wanted to just kind of show here is that we go to settings. You can see that we have 5G enabled, smart 5G, so it'll switch on and off as it's needed. Um, up here in the frozen wasteland of America's hat, uh, Canada, we don't have 5G yet, so we can turn that off. And then we have HD calling, which is an option that was only available on the European or the global version of the software. This ROM is essentially a North American clone with added function from the global version and the stability as well as face unlock from the China version. So it's the best of all three ROMs that are released for this phone and you get everything. Right now, this is the most stable ROM that you can get for this phone. It's more stable than the actual released versions from Nubia. So it's definitely worth looking into. This right here is just one of those things where you might not think that you want root on your phone, but it's really beneficial in some ways. So for instance, one of the complaints that I had in the original video where I was just only reviewing things that I could find wrong with the phone, they advertise that it has a fan and it has RGB lighting on the back, but you can't use it in the regular mode. You can only use it for notification statuses. So you can have it for charging if you have a notification, if you've missed a call or while it's ringing, and you can only use it full time if you have the game space enabled. To enable that, all the time now that we have root access we can transmit files we can go to the phone and we will just go to downloads and we'll just copy this red magic 5g cooling fan qs tile so that's being copied over to the phone we we'll put it in the downloads folder so now we can go over here and we can go to the downloads folder and there's the file there so we're just going to install this continue allow that to be installed so now it is installed on the phone. So now if we swipe down the notifications, we can swipe down again, we can go over, we can go to custom. And now at the bottom, you'll see that we have some other ones here and we can add cooling fan and LED strip. So now we've added those to the end. So now you'll see we have LED strip and cooling fan. Uh, so we'll go here, open this, we're gonna go to super user and we're gonna go down to Red Magic 5G fan and LED. And we're gonna allow this to have root access. So now that it's been granted, if we go down, uh, we can go to the cooling fan. We can turn that on. And we're not even in the gaming mode. And we can turn the LED strip on. There we go. So we can have the fan and the LED strip on in the regular phone mode, showing off your gaming phone. <laughs> Now, it is really beneficial if you're uh, doing really long screen recordings because the phone does get really hot, or if you're doing tons of app updates, you constantly have the screen on. Having the fan is a really great touch for just using it in the regular mode. So this is definitely a feature that I feel like it should have been a factory option, just being able to have that fan on or off. And the LED strip being able to be turned on and off is just a nice to have aspect that's been added now that we have root access on Blackmagic 5G Beta 2. I can't express this enough. If you have this phone, this ROM is unbelievable. Download it, install it, 
you're gonna be happy with it. Guaranteed, it's amazing. I was ready to send this phone back, I couldn't, and I ended up getting stuck with it because the return period ended before Nubia actually fixed the website for me to submit an RMA, and then I found this ROM, um, beta 1 was awesome, beta 2 now is amazing, and it has completely saved this phone for me. So if you have this phone, you had any doubts, download Blackmagic 5G Beta 2, uh, you, <laughs> you won't be sorry you did. It's fantastic. Uh, so if you found this helpful, um, you know, like, like the video or subscribe to the channel if you haven't and you find this stuff interesting or leave a comment or don't, um, cause I'm not telling you what to do.